thefootballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, at the 2017 Senior Bowl with defensive end Keonta Davis from Chattanooga, the Mox, one of the best defensive lines in the FCS. And that's the first question I want to ask. Like, your sack total uh, as a unit mostly came from up front. What tutelage did you get to help get you to that number and to where you are today? I mean, our coaches did a great job putting us in good positions. We got great athletes out there from from me to all the guys in the middle to our backups. And so, you know, when it was time to make plays, and guys went out and did it. And, uh, you know, I'm paying our homage to our coaches, doing a great job, and our guys doing a great job in practice and preparation, watching film and things like that. And, you know, the results was on the field. One thing that I noticed about you guys' this game, especially your game in particular, that you're very technically sound. You know, you could probably kick down inside. Sometimes you'd be wide nine. Sometimes you'd be at a seven. Use your hands. You're able to use power. Is that something you constantly worked on every year? And where do you see your game getting better from when you came in as a freshman to where you are now? I mean, coming in, I didn't really have a role, so I had to be versatile. You know, I had to know how to play each side, each position, if I wanted to get on the field. So, you know, I came in ready to work, willing to work. And, uh, you know, I just grinded every day and, uh, you know, I just progressed each year, stay consistent with my work ethic and, you know, just got better at something each year. That was my whole goal, to get better at something each year, add something to my game. And, uh, you know, it, it worked out for the best for me. My coaches always stayed on me, made sure I'm doing the right things. They gave me the right knowledge. They gave, pointed me in the right direction so I had questions that they couldn't answer. Or, you know, things I wouldn't do on my own. They said, hey, look at this guy, look at this guy in the league, you know. Because the professionals, they do it at such a high level. Like, it's, it's crazy once you see them break it down and watch it and listen to them talk. You know, I was fortunate to have uh, Tony Brown as my coach who played in the NFL for, for a while. And just the things he knows, the knowledge he has, really helps. And you translate into your game just a little bit and you got a couple sacks in the game, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, having them around and, uh, you know, just the guys that we have, is, is, it made it easy for me. What's part, what, what part of your game you think right now is just being vastly underrated by a lot of people? Um, I don't want to say anything's being underrated. I just think they want to see it on a bigger stage, which I'm fine with. I love, I love competing. Uh, any big game you turn on, I, I'm, I'm out there making plays. I love to go get it. Uh, that's, that's what I live for. I think that's what everybody should live for, for the competition. And uh, when I go out there and show my pass rush, I mean, I think that's the number one thing that gets you paid in the field the way NFL is now. So when I just go out there, do my thing, and uh, make it, you know, the best, the best way I can. One game in particular that I remember this season was the Alabama game. Right. Obviously, that's a spotlight game. Right. Uh, premier talent out there on the on the flanks and also at left tackle. Right. You see a lot of teams when they play big, when the FCS jumps up and, and plays higher level competition, so to speak. You see a lot of people tend to not accept the comp the, the challenge. You were different. Was that something you you embraced that once you saw it on the schedule? Like this is my game that I want to make my name known. It's really a mindset, man. I mean. You can take it two or three ways. You can you can bow down to another man, or you can take the fight to him. That's how I see it. And uh, I I wasn't raised to just bow down to anybody. So and I go out there. I compete, man. I love the competition. That's what I do. Uh, I mean, I've been doing it since I was a young cat. So I mean, I, I'm the one that I embrace competition, no matter if it's playing Alabama or it's playing the team we played at the beginning of the year shorter. I'm I'm trying to go out there and make something happen, though. So that's that's what I'm on the field to do, and that's what I like doing. Final question, how good is the SOCON? I think that conference, quite honestly, was vastly underrated right. this season. Right. How do you think about that competition and how it stacks up with the rest of the FCS? I think the SOCON is so deep that you really don't see how deep it is. Like We have like our top three teams, Chattanooga, you're going to see the Citadels, you're going to see Sanford, but you can see teams like Wofford who has to play those three teams and it's like always close games. You're gonna see teams like Mercer who just came out of nowhere and really, you know, they put up a couple wins together. Furman, when they, when they get on the road sometimes they can they can be up there in the talk. So it's like at any given point, any team can be at the top, top two, top three. And uh, you know, and people don't really don't understand that and it's it's hard to see at times, but it's some really, really good teams in the SoCon. We definitely wish you the best of luck this week and moving forward. I appreciate it. Thank you.